I'm Dave Coles. I'm the national president of the Communications Energy and Paper Workers Union. Uh, our head office is in Ottawa. What are the big issues for CEP today? Well, I think for the CEP and the labor movement is um, to prepare for uh, a Harper majority government. Uh, we're going to have to face the reality that uh, through our democratic system we have, uh, Harper has uh, the majority and can push through anything he particularly wants and we've got to develop a strategy that ensures uh, that we can uh, hold that back. M much labor law is provincial but I guess federal will affect pensions what other areas? Well labor law does affect uh, federal labor law does affect this union quite a bit for example all our broadcast trucking telecommunications all covered by the federal labor code but I don't think that's where he's coming from he is going to uh, for example we believe uh, try to reduce or do away with the rules on foreign ownership in the telecommunication broadcast system so that's a threat to our sovereignty to our national security to jobs jobs, to culture, so that'll be one area. I think that he's probably going to try to attack the, the postal workers, um, uh, try to break the union, and that'll be coming within days, not months. Uh, their collective agreement is up, they've taken a strike vote, uh, the corporation is trying to uh, destroy their uh, uh, defined benefit pension plan and a number of the provisions uh, in their collective agreement. So it's not going to take long before uh, there will you know, be a need for some very strong resistance against the Harper majority. What kind of resistance are you thinking and how do you prepare a pu the public, the Canadian public, to fight back? Well, uh, media uh, is one of the u tools we use and uh, alternate media like yours is, uh, is the best there is. The mainstream media won't tell the story. Uh, Canadians uh, do not support Harper. Sixty percent of the people in this country voted against him. Uh, they thought that they were going to get uh, you know, some sort of stable government. Uh, I can assure you they're not. You're going to see a mean-spirited government that uh, you know, goes after the most vulnerable. And when you get to tell your story correctly, you'll get support from the, the Canadian public. I'm sure of it. You, you mentioned uh, the media sector. What about the forestry sector, which you also represent? Uh, there's, that's been in crisis for years. What's the state of things and your workers in forestry? Forestry is still bad. There's uh, very little uh, uh, hope on the short-term horizon. It will require that the housing starts in the United States increase significantly before you find a big turnaround. We're still going to see closures and some uh, forest sector jobs lost. And you're fighting uh, for, for the pensions of the workers who, who are losing those plants? Pensions are a big issue. We've got uh, a big company in Quebec currently in bankruptcy protection. Uh, the issue is the uh, pension plan. Uh, the company has uh, not done a very good job of managing it. It's 40% underfunded. Uh, if the company goes bankrupt, uh, our members will lose 40% of their pensions. Uh, the retirees will lose their pensions. So it's a big war for us. Uh, we've been la lobbying and campaigning that the federal government is responsible to ensure people that have put their own money into these pension plans for such a long period of time are protected. If you can bail out banks, you sure as hell should be able to bail out pensioners. You've been, a very, you've been very actively involved in, uh, in campaigning against the global corporate trade deals. Uh, tell me what the state of, uh, of that, that file is today. Well, it's, uh, it's quite scary. Um, the, the federal government is uh, in secret continuing to bargain the CETA agreement, which is a, the agreement. The European one. The European agreement. Um, we believe it puts at risk uh, huge pieces of Canada's economy uh, and our uh, way of life. They want to put water on the table, the ability to turn water into a commodity and charge for it. Uh, so I think that we're in for some big Donny Brooks around that, and they're going to have a tough time rolling over us. Our issues uh, are very good; they're um, in the best interest of Canadians, and we want to do things that improve the life of working people. Retired, whether they're unionized or not, is not relevant. And Harper wants his friends to get rich. Uh, we've seen that in the oil sector and any other uh, major uh, piece of the economy. His friends do well. Working people, working class people, poor people, women, immigrants are always ending up on the short end of the stick. We're going to tell our story and I'm always confident that uh, given the right message, uh, the Canadian population will uh, just tell Harper no. So you have a lot of mobilizing to do. 
we're going to continue to mobilize. Uh, there's a lot of things that are going to come down this week here at the CLC. It's an opportunity, a uh, very timely opportunity after the, uh, the opposition uh, changed. Uh, from the mushy middle, we now have a shift uh, to the progressive uh, spectrum of society in, uh, in the opposition. Uh, Jack Layton has told uh, me personally, has told the Labour movement, he's not going to let it slide to the centre. If you, if you look like a Liberal, why would you vote for the NDP? So it's going to be a tough job for Jack to, you know, to make sure that uh, we keep putting forward uh, progressive alternatives. Um, you know, we're a very uh, humane society in Canada in general. Uh, we're kind and we're gentle. But people are not going to take lightly to uh, Mr. Harper trying to turn it into a mean uh, corporate machine. I hope you're right. Do you have any uh, last thoughts you might like to leave us with? Well, I, I'm worried about his neglect uh, for this, the purity or the, the base of democracy. I mean, he, every time he gets into a problem, he just walks away or shuts it down. Uh, I think we really do have to look at electoral reform. I think that having Elizabeth May there is good for Canada, but I think we need proportional representation. And I, I think that as he performs over the next four years, people are going to understand that we need electoral reform. Thank you very much, Dave Coles. Great. Glad to be here.